Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be my reset routine. So basically what I'm gonna be sharing with you in today's video is how I like to jump back into real life after I've been away. June was like the craziest month for me. I know I've mentioned it on like Instagram and maybe on here and stuff, but I just had like the busiest month of my life and I feel like I'm finally able to breathe, get back into routine, get back into posting videos and just being excited for content. I was just too stressed last month to even like honestly care. So so I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time and I'm excited to share with you guys because getting back into routine is like one of my favorite things ever and it makes me feel so good and organized and just productive as per usual. So hopefully if you guys are going on any trips this summer, this is helpful to you. I walk you guys through how um, I like to go grocery shopping and what healthy meals I like to start off with and what I do in my beauty routine to get myself feeling normal again. So that's what today's video is gonna be. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you join the fam. The day after we got home from Mexico, by the way, that's where I was at for the last week was in Mexico. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that. But the first thing we did when we woke up the next day was go to the grocery store because we had no food in our fridge and that's important, so. So basically the first thing that Cody and I are doing to get ourselves back into routine is going to the grocery store to pick up food because our fridge is basically completely empty. When we got home from the airport last night, we just ordered a pizza and so we need some vegetables and some fruit and some meat and stuff. So we're gonna go hit up the grocery store and do that first. After being away for a week where you're able to eat and drink all the sweets, carbs, and alcohol you want, it feels really nice to go to the grocery store and pick up fresh veggies and fruits and just the regular things that you like to eat on a daily basis. And my general rule when it comes to shopping at the grocery store when I want to be healthy is doing the outskirts. So I start with the vegetables and the fruit, then I move on to meat, and then I go to dairy. Of course, <laughs> I did pick up a sweet treat because I'm cheeky, but they're so good. They're dairy-free ice cream sandwiches and you need to try them. Okay, so that was the grocery store trip that we took and we got a lot of stuff which was really great to stock up our fridge. When we got home and unloaded everything, I moved right into unpacking my suitcase. I'm definitely the kind of person that likes to unpack right away. Normally, depending on the trip or how big my suitcase is, I'll do it the night I get home which is like kind of crazy but I'm crazy like that. So I took the night off and did it the next morning and I just basically take absolutely everything out. I pretty much wore everything I brought, which was kind of amazing. So I just divided it into my laundry piles, you know, lights, darks, colors, all that adult stuff and wash my laundry. I also like to put away my cosmetic bags, all the accessories, just, you know, take the time to really unpack everything. And I kind of made Cody do it too. So all our suitcases were unpacked efficiently. Also too, because we were fortunate enough to have one day off to do all of these things, we were able to take that night off that we would got home, rest, and then do laundry and everything the next day because Cody didn't have to work until the Tuesday, which was swell. So we took the time to do all the laundry. Thank you to him for folding it. Fun fact, I hate folding laundry. I just, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. I really don't. <laughs> so when we got back, I made it my mission to drink a ton of water because that is just something I don't normally do a whole lot of when I'm on vacation. When I'm at home, I drink so much water, it's ridiculous, but when I'm away, I don't really think of it as often. And also the water in Mexico, we had to go to like the water filter station and fill it up. It just wasn't as convenient. So I made sure yesterday to really drink my water. So I drank a ton of water. I had an emergency because I don't want to get sick. And I also had an eight greens, those little like tab things. I love those, I travel with them, but they're so good. And I just try and get all the greens and nutrition back into my body. So I'm drinking a ton of water and of course, we decided to make a healthy dinner so this is what we made so Cody's just outside grilling the chicken and I'm gonna be making our salads in here so I'm gonna be putting spinach in his oh laundry's done so I'm gonna be putting spinach in Cody's salad and I personally like arugula so I have this to add I'm also gonna try this avocado I hope it's okay it's like a little bit hard of course salad dressing I'm gonna add some cucumber some strawberries because I love adding strawberries into salads in the summertime it's so good and then I'm going to top it with some pumpkin seeds just for a little something fun Got the time.
here's our completed dinner. We got a really big salad with lots of greens and some fun strawberries, and then the chicken kebabs that Cody grilled up. I'm so excited. This is exactly what my body has been craving, just something simple and easy, and it's our first like good meal back from our vacation. And then last night before bed, because I had been working all day with unpacking and just getting life sorted, I decided to end off my night with a bath. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. The last thing you guys saw was me taking a bath. I didn't really talk about it, but last night I basically just decided to have a relaxing bath and focus on my body and my skincare. So I did my shaving. I did um, my face mask that you guys saw. It's from Pharmacy. It's like the honey potion on it. It's so good. And then when I got out, I just like moisturized my body with uh, the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Watermelon Infusion. It's a gradual tanner, but because I was in the sun for about a week, my skin has just been really dry. I'm also trying to not peel my sunburn, so I wanted to use something all over my body, but it also like gave me a bit of a tan and just like helps maintain my tan. So love this. That's what I used last night. And then for my skincare, once I got out of the bath, I just moisturized with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. And then I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. I love this stuff. It is so good. It's very rich and creamy and makes your skin super hydrated and plump and fresh. I just, I love this. It's such a good intense moisturizer. I use a very little bit because it's expensive, but it's so good. So I used that last night. And then this morning I decided to do my hair. I currently have a mask on. I guess it's not really a mask. It's more of a bonding treatment. This is the Olaplex <laughs> Hair Perfector number three repairs and strengthens all hair types. My hair has been like really, really dry, especially after being in salt water and pool water and being in the sun. It's just like frizzy and dry and not cute. So I put this all throughout my hair, gave it a good brush. I used kind of a lot and then tie it up in a bun and I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. When the timer goes off for the Olaplex hair treatment, I'll rinse it out in the shower and then for purple shampoo today, I'm gonna use the From Easy Color Lover. I've talked about this and the Olaplex stuff in my hair care routine recently. So if you wanna go learn more about all these things, then go check out that video. But I'm gonna apply this because I feel like my hair has gotten super brassy from being in the sun. So I want to tone it. And so I'll leave this in for a couple minutes to hopefully reduce that. And once I rinse out the purple shampoo, I'll go in with the Verb Hydrating Conditioner. It's a new product for me. I recently purchased it from Sephora because I wanted something new and hydrating, so I got this. Um, and then I'll probably mix it in with the Trader Joe's hair mask because this is really good. It's really hydrating, so I always like to mix in a little bit of this with whatever conditioner I'm using to really hydrate the ends because especially after being in the sun and on vacation and stuff, my ends are so frizzy and dry and just like crisp. <laughs> it's not the vibe, so I'm gonna mix these two as my conditioner. And that's pretty much all I'm planning on doing for my in-shower hair treatments for today. Hopefully it revitalizes my hair and makes it soft and shiny again. Once I get out, I'll just apply my regular leave-in conditioner and serum and probably blow dry my hair to then straighten it because that's what I feel like doing today. And that brings us back to now where I'm going to end off today's video. My hair feels so much better after doing the treatment and the toning, which it definitely is a lot cooler. I did not realize how brassy it was until I blow dried and straightened it. I have makeup on and I just feel like I'm back into routine. I'm feeling like myself, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna jump back into work, which is actually editing this video so you guys can see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this reset routine. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.